welcome back to my channel so happy to see all my Disney peaches here today y'all it's here I am finally doing my lounge fly collection video and so grab a drink <laughs> get you some sweet tea a coca-cola or whatever it is you need to sit and enjoy this video because if you want to see some beautiful bags um you're gonna want to watch this and i think you'll enjoy it so um i'm definitely not gonna go into great detail with each bag i just kind of want to uh just show it to you um and maybe say a word to but move on so this is not like a humongous long video <laughs> But anyway, oh, and I changed out my background. Um, there's some other things I want to do, but, you know, this is a start. I've got um, beautiful colors, springy colors, and I got my little bunnies right here. And y'all, I've got some hidden eggs throughout my display. So you'll definitely have to check that out. Um, and also, if this video is not too terribly long i may flip the camera around and show you my uh, background at the end of the video okay so stay tuned for that but if you're ready to see what i got in my collection come on back Okay, the first group that I'm gonna start out with, y'all, is my sequins bags. Um, they're probably, besides my Star Wars, um, one of my favorite collections that I have. I love sequins bags. You've heard me say it time and time again. I love them. I love the bling. <laughs> I love it. And so we're going to just start out. It's not going to be in any particular order. So it could be, you know, just random. So here we go, y'all. Okay, the first bag I want to show you is a, this a gorgeous bag. Um, it's kind of like a magenta hot pink whatever you want to call it but it is stunning um, you can see it just has a plain solid um, there's no sheen or anything to the bow um, and it is a Disney Parks bag and it is gorgeous so absolutely love this one I do have one that is very, very similar to this, but um, it's not a Disney Parks, and the bow is like a holographic look. And when I get to it, I'll show you. I think it's in my background somewhere, but um, love this one. The next one is kind of like um, one that's just kind of been around a long time. I think it's still available right now, and it is the Rose Gold Sequins. And this one is a Disney Parks uh, exclusive as well. It has rose uh, gold colored hardware and I just love it. So love my rose gold. Here is another bag that I absolutely love. Meetsy gave me this for Christmas one year and it is the beautiful red sequins and this bag this is another park uh disney parks exclusive and this one would be gorgeous at christmas and valentine's day here is another bag that meetsy gave me for christmas one year and i flipped because i wanted it so badly and it is yet again another disney parks exclusive and this is the candy corn black sequins i've never worn it and I don't want to because I don't want to mess it up. It is so stunning. Um, it does have the candy corn zipper. Look at the, the zippers even colored. Uh, even up there on the top as well. It's plain in the back, but just beautiful. 
love this one. Okay, another bag that I have is a more recent bag and it is the gorgeous green uh, Tinkerbell sequins and oh, I love it. This was a Circle of Hope uh, exclusive and I think it's absolutely stunning. Beautiful bow with the wings on there. Love Tinker on the front. And the back is just plain except for the little bit of writing there. I love this bag. One bag that I truly love is from Disneyland Paris. And it is the 30th anniversary bag uh, from Miss Karen. Miss um, Karen and Phil from Enchanted Mysteries and Disneyland Paris Pickups. Um, are currently in Paris right now. So if you need anything, this is March the 4th, 2023. So if you need anything from Paris right now, definitely uh, email her and definitely get, I put her email down here, but definitely get, um, get her to do you a pickup um, while she's there. But yeah, this is stunning. Love all of this gorgeous, gorgeous color just beautiful love it okay the next one that i want to share with you is one another disney parks exclusive and this one is from uh it was at animal kingdom and i think you could have bought them throughout the the parts but my my sister-in-law picked this one up for me um before she even got a job with disney she was living there in florida and she found it and i was like oh thank goodness but uh absolutely love this one y'all it is so stunning such a beautiful beautiful bag love it now y'all this one is so beautiful um it is a silver sequins but the trim is like it has a little bit of rose gold in it it is so beautiful um, and I'm gonna show you next the bag that's similar, but not the same. This was a 707 Street exclusive. And y'all, I just love it. It is gorgeous. You can see more of the tint to the silver part in the back. And the ears are the same way. I just love it. So pretty. And then, here's the other one that's similar. And if I'm not mistaken, this came from LA Rush and it is more of a holographic bag and so the ear um the uh bow it has more of a holographic material the back is the same way you can see it immediately but just gorgeous let me show you both of them together and you can see the difference i mean they're very very similar obviously but one is the trim is much darker than the other so you can see it on the backs. Just love these. So another LA Rush exclusive is this beautiful black sequins. And y'all, it is stunning. I think this one was called the Celestial uh, bag or something like that. Cause it has kind of like a white star as the zipper on the front. And LA Rush, um, and it, you know, they do this with their holographic bags. I don't know if this would be considered a holographic bag or not, because I don't really, I can't really see it. Let's see if the back looks like it. I don't know, it just looks shiny to me. So, but this is another LA Rush exclusive, and it's such a stunning uh, bag. I just love it love this one so the next one that i want to show you is one i've gotten more recently and it is the beautiful pocahontas look at those colors um the sequins i love this detailing right here gorgeous uh zipper pull just beautiful and the back is always so pretty also just a beautiful, beautiful bag. Love the bow. This is from the Disney Princess uh, sequin series on Lounge 5. 
it's a lounge fly exclusive so love this one of pocahontas now the next bag is another paris a dc land paris and it was for the 30th anniversary as well and you know i showed you uh this one earlier um it was for the 30th anniversary as well and uh this one is just as beautiful look at all the beautiful detailing here on the front this is a metal castle your plaque just beautiful so so glad i have two of the disneyland paris 30th anniversary sequins bag y'all they're getting ready to come out with another one so you you better get ready. Now, the next one is one I just absolutely love. And it is from um, the Disney Cruise Line. And it is the stunning. My husband got me this one year for Christmas. And it's the beautiful dark blue with the navy looking vegan leather bow. Oh, it's just the detail is amazing. Gold, um, rose gold hardware. Just beautiful, y'all love it so beautiful i'm so happy this is in my collection <laughs> y'all another bag that i'm just tickled pink over it is another disney parks exclusive bag and it is the fourth of july sequins um this one is i do have with my sequins bags i do have a fourth of july lounge fly bin that i keep my holiday stuff in but i put this with my sequence bags and i just absolutely love it love the red white and blue all over the straps are amazing love these oh i'm so happy i got this one also so the next one y'all that i want to show you is one that i don't have very many of it is part of the Minnie mouse main attraction series i don't have very many of the mini or the mickey mouse main attraction series but ones that i do have i really love and this one is from the jungle cruise i love this bag oh it's me it's me in this bag um you've got sequins on the front pocket and up here sequins up here on the ears and then i love animal print stuff um i don't wear a lot of it but i just love it and uh just the combination of these oh it's amazing i've always loved 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 this bag the bow is just gorgeous it has a different uh material here there's so much going on with this bag this feels like a, a kind of like a suede type feel but y'all i love it it is beautiful y'all another one i want to show you is one that's really special to me because it's not really disney it's lounge fly but it represents somewhere that is close to me and that's in north carolina it is the biltmore house sequence bag and you can see the gorgeous gold um print here of the biltmore house on the front um gorgeous gorgeous chocolate sequins i mean how often do you see chocolate sequins it's stunning right look at this gorgeous zipper pull and it gorgeous and then it has the biltmore house on the back just stunning but i don't know i've just gone there for years and years and years and um i just love having it and so it is beautiful so the next one that I want to show you is one that I love um, because Toy Story is such a huge, huge collection for me. Um, I don't really collect a lot of lounge fly anymore from them, but I do have a huge, very amazing pin collection, Disney pin collection. And it is from Toy Story. Y'all, this is beautiful it was an exclusive i want to say it was grotto's treasure or something like that i can't remember for sure i looked to see if there's um there's it's not on the tag but um i love this it's the green army men and it is camouflage sequence so it's like camouflage print underneath and then there's just uh clear sequins on top of it 
And then here is just um, a, a debossing of the Green Army Man. And look, it's a parachute for the zipper pull. And it does have side pockets. Such a beautiful bag. So pretty. So glad I have this in my sequins collection. Okay, another bag that I absolutely love is part of the Princess Sequin series on loungefly.com. And it was, I think, the second one to be released. And it is Ariel. And this one is just a half sequins. It's not a full sequins. This is big in leather. The pockets are vegan leather, but you can see right here, you got this beautiful uh, purple lavender colored sequins, and it is just gorgeous. And it even comes down through here. But I absolutely love this one. Another bag in my sequins collection is an OG. What do I mean by OG? So back in the day before Funko bought Loungefly. Um, Loungefly's logo was a heart. And so anytime you see a bag with a heart, it tends to be more expensive because it's from the very beginning. And so my beautiful pink sequins, and this is the millennial pink, is an OG. It has the heart logo. That's how long I've had this bag. <laughs> um, but it is beautiful, y'all. Um, just stunning. I love it. I've only worn it once, and um, I just love it. The sequins are absolutely gorgeous. This is where you don't see this a lot. The, seat, the hardware is actually the color of the bag. And um, let's see if I can get it close for the OG. It is the OG, is the heart logo. And then the beautiful pocket. It does has this, it does have this like effect here where it looks like it's like rippled. Um, I don't know why it does that. Um, perhaps it's the pocket, but I just really love it. Um, Love this bag, had it for years, and so happy it's in my collection. Okay, y'all, another bag that I have in my collection that is not all sequins is this beautiful white and pink. Uh, this is actually from Hot Top um, Box Lunch. Um, just stunning. I would love to have the pink one like this but uh, that was really hard to come by. But uh, Box Lunch had brought this back and boy, I jumped on that fast. Here is the sequins. It's like an iridescent uh, type or holographic type sequin ears. And then it's got the sequins bow and it's got rose gold hardware and it is just gorgeous. Love this bag. Okay, y'all, another bag I have in my sequins collection is this beautiful mint sequins. And I love it, y'all. Isn't it beautiful? I just love it. I love how the bow is just a matted color and everything is the gorgeous mint um, color. And it has gorgeous gold hardware, but the sequins are just stunning. Look at that, y'all. I'm so happy to have this one also in my collection. Hey okay, y'all, another bag I have in my collection. This one is not all sequins either. It's basically just sequins on the pocket, but I have it as part of my sequins collection. And it is the gorgeous Mickey Mouse main attraction. And this is of King Arthur's Court. Love these sequins. It is so pretty beside of this one. It's just kind of like more, that's more of a minty color. This one to me is more like a Tiffany blue, but it is beautiful. You can see those sequins right here, like on the pocket. And it's, this bag is just stunning. One of my top favorite bags I have, but love the sequins and love it in my collection. Okay, another bag I have in my sequence collection is 
really probably the most recent bag I've gotten and it is the gorgeous Rapunzel bag is this not unbelievable just love all of the light lavender sequins uh, the dark sequins here just beautiful and it goes around to the side such a beautiful bag so happy I got this one as well okay the next bag I want to show you is again from the uh, Disney Princess sequin series on loungefly.com and it's the gorgeous Jasmine is this not beautiful just absolutely love it the sequins are just a beautiful uh, color of turquoise and it is just stunning so happy to have this okay the next one that i want to share with you is another recent purchase and it is the beautiful tiana so gorgeous again it is from the disney princess sequin series um on uh loungefly.com and it is absolutely stunning just gorgeous y'all i apologize for my um screen going dark and then light um i'm working with my natural lighting coming in the window but anyway absolutely love this one another bag that i want to share with you is this was an under the sea collectible um exclusive and it is the stunning gorgeous ariel with the beautiful sequins in like a lavender color just a, a darker lavender lighter lavender it is just beautiful and it has the seashell zipper pull but you can see all of these gorgeous sequins just stunning and then the sides are plain and then the back so beautiful love this and oh don't forget this beautiful detailing here of ariel so gorgeous so the next bag i want to share with you is a stunning bag this bag is from um pink hollow mode and is this called what is this called is this a uh, i don't know what the pink yeah the pink one's cotton candy i think this one might be called celebration i'm not sure but it is it's a holographic bag but look how gorgeous the sequins are so beautiful here's the back you can see it right off the bat and then that bow is the same way so gorgeous love this one okay y'all here's the next bag that i want to share with you it is the gorgeous like hot pink magenta however you want to say it but this is an exclusive from 707 street and it's so beautiful y'all and i love it's got the black logo it has kind of an iridescent uh type or shimmery type bow now this was the park exclusive look at the difference they're both beautiful but different so you can see why I had to have both of them in my collection, but I absolutely love this. Okay, the next bag I want to share with you is from the Disney 50th anniversary celebration. And it is the beautiful uh, rose gold. I just love it. It's a Disney Parks exclusive and it is just iridescent all over or holographic that's how you want to say it but absolutely love this bag love the colors the pink and all the other colors that kind of show up so gorgeous so the next bag I want to show you is actually the same kind of bag it's just different colors and here it is and I love this one too it is a gold sequins uh, everywhere and then it has the holographic look and it has blue trim 
It is so beautiful. I love both of these bags. Such a pretty series that was released. So beautiful together. Look how gorgeous they are. I wish there had been another, but absolutely love these. Okay, so the next one I wanna show you is from the Disney Princess series uh, on Loungefly. And it was the very first one to be released. And it is Cinderella. Isn't she gorgeous? And listen, they did awesome with the release of this bag because this one has got beautiful sequins up here at the top that are baby blue. Then you've got a darker sequence going down the sides. And then the beautiful logo tag, just stunning. And then you have the slipper on the pillow as the zipper pull. Just beautiful. Love it so much. So the next one I want to show you is yet again another one from the beautiful series, the Disney Princess sequence on Lounge Fly. And it is Miss Aurora. Look how gorgeous Aurora is. Love the bow with her crown, the gorgeous logo tag. Love the spinning wheel as your zipper pull. Just gorgeous. Just a stunning, stunning bag. Love this one. The next one that I want to share with you is a gorgeous bag and it is from Pink Ola Mode. It's their exclusive and I believe they call this uh, cotton candy. Y'all, can you just not? Oh my goodness. It is just stunning. Love all of the baby pink. Pink is my favorite color. Love all of the baby pink uh, sequins. It's just all the way around, just beautiful. And it's got rose gold hardware. Here's the back, just stunning. And if I haven't told you before, I think I have. Um, uh, gold hardware is my favorite, and then rose gold hardware is my second favorite. So I love to see the rose gold whenever they put that on there as well. Okay, the next thing that I wanna share with you is a bag that, um, it's not really a sequins bag, but it has some jewels on it. So it has like, they're like, like just stone embellishments. And it is one that I got for Christmas this past year. And it was from my sister me, see? And it is the cruise line of bag exclusive from the Wishes Cruise Line. And you'll see that here, on the bow, it's got those stone embellishments all through here where the tuffeted quilting is. And they're just beautiful uh, accents there. And uh, I just love it. So love this bag. I know I've shown it recently in my top five bags and I just love it. It even has it here on the ears. So the next one that I wanna show you, it's not a sequence bag, and it doesn't really have stones on it, but it has a glittery effect. And so I love this. Um, you know, I had thought about selling it, but um, it's still in my collection right now. It is from the Stitch Shop. Um, that's their logo tag, and it has this beautiful um, metal piece at the bottom, but it has the seven dwarfs all on it. And the background is just this really red sparkly uh look closer so pretty and then um it does have gold hardware so love this so the next um kind of thing i want to show you is pieces that i have for my beauty and the beast um you know it is my favorite movie uh it's my favorite princess Belle's my favorite princess and um, I just love my collection. Now, as in anything I collect, I don't collect every single piece because if it's something that comes out and I don't like it, I don't buy it. 
and but there are still bags that I want like really would love to have the veil sequins I missed that on both times that it was released and so I really love that bag I'd love it for my collection not just for the princess series it's the princess series off of Loungefly the sequin series but for my Beauty and the Beast collection so but y'all here's the first bag I'm going to show you and this was a bag that Pink Ola Mode sent me and y'all I had to have it in my collection it is the gorgeous scene series and it is a beast and bell right here on the front and it has the gorgeous rose at the zipper pull everything is embroidered oh I just love it such a beautiful beautiful bag and it has the ombre effect here on the sides more beautiful embroidery on the back just stunning I'm so happy to have this one in my Beauty and the Beast collection okay the next bag I want to show you from my Beauty and the Beast collection is this gorgeous bag oh my gosh I love it y'all it is stunning um you've got bell and beast right here on the front and this color of yellow is my favorite color um, of yellow and pink's my favorite color but i love yellow too just like the soft buttercup and that's why i don't get every single bag of from beauty and the beast is because sometimes i just don't like their representation of yellow um sometimes it's just too weird specifically uh box lunch had several come out and i just did not feel the yellow <laughs> so but this one is absolutely gorgeous love it such soft vegan leather i have worn this beautiful embroidery on the back gold hardware look at the stunning logo tag right there on the front just love it so the next bag I want to share with you is one that I just love. Um, not only am I a huge Belle fan, but I love the Beast also. Look how stunning he is. Just a gorgeous piece. It looks just like him in his blue jacket. Logo tag is gorgeous. Um, I still have the plastic on it. I'm gonna take that off now because I like to see the beautiful blue on it. Look at there. This one is a 2021 summer convention and it was a limited edition piece. So I'm so happy to have it. I love it so much. Gorgeous. Okay, so the next one I wanna show you is the Winter Beast. Oh my gosh, isn't he beautiful? I love his purple cape that he has on. He basically looks just like the other one in the face, but they're just differences. Um, break the spell is what it says on the back. Just beautiful. Let me get the other one. It's right here. Here are the two beasts side by side. Aren't they gorgeous? um such pretty um bags i love them now the winter beast was a pink olive mode exclusive and i just love it love it love it and so was winter bell i love winter bell she is so pretty she has her book here on the front a gorgeous snowflake there's the front <laughs> A gorgeous snowflake as your zipper pull. This all is like a velour um, type material and it has the fur around her hoodie that's on her coat. Just beautiful, beautiful eyes. Such beautiful work on this bag. Again, this was from Pink Ola Mode. It, you could have bought them together and um, I got them together. <laughs> and so I meant I was not missing out. These were Pink Ola Mode exclusives again, and I just love them. So glad I got them. One of my earlier bags that I purchased, and y'all, I'm just in love with it. I think it's an absolutely stunning bag. And it came from Very Naco. And y'all, it is Belle's dress. I 
absolutely love this bag. I think it's drop dead gorgeous. Um, it just so represents her dress. And y'all, not only that, it's got like um, beading on it. And it has um, her dress, the bottom of her dress, the draping. Oh, and it's such a beautiful color of yellow. And not only that, look at the sides. So you've got uh, Cogsworth and Lumiere on this side. And then you've got Mrs. Potts and Chip. And the back is the rose. Y'all, I love this. It does have side pockets. Just a gorgeous bag, and I'm so glad I have this one. Another bag I have in my uh, Beauty and the Beast collection actually came from Box Lunch. And y'all, it is beautiful. I've had it and I had this one in my display for Valentine's Day. It has kind of a smoky rose color um, with it. And it's just a different interpretation of Beast and Belle, but absolutely gorgeous nonetheless. Look at the beautiful satiny type flowers. I had been carrying this, but I stopped because I saw some fraying um, on the edges of the roses and I just did not want it to mess up. Just beautiful. Look at that hardware. And then here's the back. This is um, printed on and um, it was actually kind of like a debossing on these. So the next bag that I have for you um, in my Beauty and the Beast collection, it is an LA Comic Con exclusive from 2021 and it is Cogsworth. I love him. It is so perfect. I just love this bag. Um, you can see uh, the hand inside it moves and um, unless it gets stuck. <laughs> It's got gold hardware, which I love. Um, his face, uh, his hands do move. And I think that's a cute touch as well. You can see his arms on the side. Just beautiful. And it says, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Such a beautiful bag. Love this one. Next, I have a bag from the Villain Scene series that was out you know, a little while back, and it is Gaston. I love this bag. Now, you can see what happens when you turn him. There's Belle, and then there's Belle again. See, I always have a hard time getting the lenticular part to work. Oh, there's Beast. So there's Beast, and there's Belle. So I'm not a huge fan of lenticular, but I still love it. I think it's a beautiful bag. I love Gaston up here. Y'all, let's see if his mouth continues. Yes, down at the bottom. <laughs> you know, sometimes that happens and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> but love it. It has all of the colors, just so pretty. And this was a lounge fly and it says biceps to spare on the back. So this was a lounge fly uh, bag that came out. Um, I think it was the monthly drop, but love it. I also have the World 1 1 Games exclusive of Gaston. Yes, I love, look at his hair right there and um, his outfit matches perfectly. So pretty, his belt right here on the front. He just has his bow and arrow on his back. Just your typical uh, Gaston. Let's see, I can't remember if this one continues. I don't think it does, no. Here's an example of it not continuing. So, um, yeah. So glad to have both Gastons in my collection. Which one is your favorite? This one? Or this one. Okay, the last bag I want to share with you in my Beauty and the Beast collection is a, a bag that was released during a monthly lounge fly drop. And I just think it's beautiful. And it is this gorgeous ballroom scene of Beast and Belle. This one doesn't want to turn around. I'll go ahead and show it to you. Look at the beautiful zipper pull, but you can see the scene right there. 
gorgeous logo tag up there with Lumiere, Cogsworth, Misery's Pot, and Chip. So beautiful. And it's that same purplish blue on around. And then here's the back. It's got the gorgeous uh, rose. But yeah, I absolutely love this bag. It's gorgeous. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you some random bags. <laughs> um, <clears throat> if I see that I have a lot of a certain thing, I'll tell you before I start showing that particular thing. But um, I'm just, it's just going to kind of be random from right now. So um, one thing I do like is um, sometimes I like to buy, and if, if it fits a collection or if it fits something that I like to collect, um, I like to do um, flock bags, if you will, like furry or whatever. And I have a couple like that. So the first one that I want to show you is Nana. You know, I don't really collect Peter Pan yet. Um, I'm right there on the edge. But me to my twin sister, she collects Peter Pan. Um, I do have a collect pin collection of nothing but Nana. So, uh, I just love this. I said I want Nana so badly and I had to pick it up. It is furry all over, even up here. Her cute little hat, um, the fluffy ears, <laughs> just so pretty. And the back I love because it says Nana in blocks, like building blocks. So cute. I love it. So the next one is one that you've seen in my Valentine's background when I had it before. And this is Lotso. Lotso is furry all over and has a gorgeous tag um, zipper pull. And it's a strawberry, but his little snout, he smells, he still smells, even though I've had him for years, he still smells, and I love that, but he's got just that, you know, plushy nose, just so pretty, and on the back, it says, you've got a play date with Destiny, and it's even furry on the back, y'all. A lot of times, like Nana, it's not furry on the back, but um, this one is, Lotso is, and I love it. So, love Lotso. So the next one uh, that's kind of furry um, is one, or it feels more just like a flock feel because um, it's not like longer fur like on those two, and it is Rafiki. Pink Hollow Mode sent me this bag, and I just love it. It's got Simba, like drawn on the cave, uh, right there, and uh, it is just so soft, y'all. And then you've got the contrasting colors. The back, you've got Rafiki and Simba. Just love this one. So the next three that I'm going to show you all are from the movie Up, and the first one that I purchased was this gorgeous version of Carl and he is so adorable um, I believe this was um, a Loungefly exclusive on loungefly.com and y'all I love it his jacket is just like a man's jacket he would wear to church it's just like a wooly uh, wintry type jacket and his little bow is a little bit crooked there his belt, you've got the grape soda badge, his glasses. This is all an applique up here, just beautiful. And look, I love this, look at the zipper pull. It is a walker with tennis balls, <laughs> love it. And then the back is so sweet, look at this, just adorable. So, so glad to have this one. So, the next one that I got, I'm just kind of going in the order that I got them, um, is Russell. <laughs> he is adorable. Um, it's just a really bright, almost 
neon type yellow and orange um <clears throat> not my favorite color of yellow but anyway it's cute for this particular cosplay and cosplay other than sequence bags cosplay is like my favorite type of bag um i hate aop prints i'm not saying i don't have an aop print i don't know if i still have any aop prints but i have had them and it's not my favorite bag it's just it's hard to get um the placement that you want but i just love the characters that come out in a cosplay bag like this and so you see russell's face it's perfect i mean they couldn't have done this any better you've got all his badges here and then you have a pendant right there just so pretty his shirt pocket you've got pockets on both sides neon orange colored straps and then you have the house with the balloons so pretty so this was the second bag i got in my up collection oh and look you see this down here so pretty the last bag that i have in uh, my collection from up i still haven't got ellie i need to pick that up before it gets gone but i have young carl um his little glasses goggles they come off uh, it's a magnet in here so just so you can see it a little bit better great soda badge love the logo tag then we're gonna put his glasses back on there you go and then here on the side you see Ellie and then you see him on this side so pretty and on the back you've got the spirit of adventure so love it oh oh and look at his zipper pull that is so adorable and this is 3d you can feel it it's like it's on there like a real grape soda badge and then this is like a fabric so i really love it so i gotta get ellie that's the next one i gotta get y'all so the next bag i'm gonna show you is such an og bag this bag was gifted to me by Mitzi one year for Christmas and y'all I love it and I haven't gotten rid of it since um I just love it it has the heart logo and it is awesome this is the second lounge fly I have ever gotten in my life this was the second one and it has um, and I think you might even still be able to get this on Amazon but it is just such a pretty Minnie Mouse bag um, a big beautiful puffy bow I mean it's not super puffy but you feel a little bit and then you see here there's your logo tag with the heart and you've got these silver studs mickey head studs on it um it's simple but pretty and elegant i think i love it so another bag that meetsy gave me was this gorgeous bag i think this was from box lunch y'all I don't know if it was box lunch. It don't say park exclusive. Where is the tag? Oh yeah, it just says Disney. So, but it is a Cinderella bag. This is kind of like a velvety type bow. And look at the beautiful zipper pull. It's Jacques and Gus. Oh, I love it. And then you do have side pockets. There's your logo tag so pretty i love this one so love it okay the next bag i want to show you is a really recent purchase and it is my pirates of the caribbean if you didn't see this haul video you missed out because this thing is gorgeous um here is the coin for the zipper pull and i love this this whole piece up here is an applique it looks like the treasure trunk right here on the front. Love the back. The black pearl. Dead man tail, no tails. And I love this. It's gorgeous. So, love that one. The next two bags are, yet again, another a cruise line bag. 
And so this one I actually got off of Amazon and I just think it's adorable and it is the pretty red. Um, I love this one because of the blue and then this beautiful, look at that, it's a velvet bow with the roping, the gold roping edging and look at the, and this is from the Wish Cruise Line and oh, it's so beautiful. And it's just got Mickey all over as uh, like the captain. And it's got Chip and Dale. Um, just the whole game. But love this bag. So pretty. Another cruise line bag is from, um, I don't know if it's the Wish. Where's the line of oh, thing? No, it's just the Disney Cruise Line. So I guess it would be on any uh, cruise line. And that is Donald. Oh, I love it. My husband got me this for Christmas this past year and I just love it. You've got the bow right here and then the logo that says Disney Cruise Line. And it's just got stripes, just sailor stripes all over. Love the hat, the sailor hat. Oh, it's just so awesome. Love this one. Okay, y'all. I'm kind of starting to lose my lighting, so I might have to flip the lights on um, eventually, but we're going to keep going. Next is just another uh, tote of bags that I have um, that I want to share with you. This one I got, and I want to say, what shop was this? I can't remember. But it's an exclusive. Um, it's either Cordy's Corner, Circle of Hope, one of those, I think. But it is the dopey bag. It's the cosplay bag. And I've kind of played with the idea of getting rid of this one. Um, it is beautiful. I love the colors. It is an exclusive. It is a cosplay bag. But I don't know. Part of me wants to keep it and part of me wants to sell it. But just trying to downsize some with bags that I don't really collect anything else of that particular thing. But it is beautiful and I think it's a gorgeous bag. Okay, y'all, the next bag I want to show you is one that you can't hardly find anywhere. And not only that, if you do find it, it's crazy expensive on the secondary market. And I got it when it came out and I forget who I got this bag with. And I might have even gotten it in a bippity box. I can't remember. But y'all, I love it. I just can't get rid of it. <laughs> it is Charlie Brown's shirt. Y'all, I love it. This was for the 70th anniversary of Peanuts. And y'all, I just love it. It's lounge fly. Um, it has this cutest, uh, little zipper pull that says good grief and i just love this part and i love this yellow i think it's really pretty there's the logo tag um i thought for a second it might be an og but it's not but y'all this is the only bag i'm gonna probably open and show you but it's just because i love it look at the inside it is snoopy all over the inside i just love it and yeah, I've had it in storage and just haven't even taken the plastic off the handles, but I love this bag. So the next bag I wanna share with you is one that I love. My husband bought it for me and I've gotten rid of, rid of most of the bags from this collection. I've only saved two and I just can't get rid of these two. And it is Woody. Oh, I told you I have a huge uh, pin collection of um, Toy Story, but this is one of two of the bags that I kept, and it is so pretty. I just love it. Love the belt buckle, love the vest and the shirt. So classic. Gun holder. Here's the back. Just beautiful. It's my Woody bag. Okay, the next bag is the partner to Woody. Yes, it's a Buzz. 
Love this bag from the very beginning and I just cannot get rid of it. Even though I don't actively collect Toy Story Loungefly any longer. And y'all, I lied. I'm going to show you the interior of this bag also because I love it. It's all green aliens. I love it, y'all. So pretty. So, yeah, I got Buzz too. Okay, the next bag I want to show you is a bag that I had shown you one of this theming before, but these were in a tote, so I didn't have them together. So, but this is the second bag that I have in the Pirates of the Caribbean. Y'all, I love this bag. This was on Shop Disney. I just love the colors, y'all. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at this up close, look at that. So, so pretty. I love this whole scene. And there's your logo tag and here's the bag. It's just a beautiful red. Oh, I love it. Now the third bag that I have from the Pirates of the Caribbean is actually from the Mickey Mouse main attraction. And this is one of the few bags I have from that series. And it is the gorgeous uh, Pirates bag. It's simple, but very, very elegant. Look at those ears. Look at the logo tag. Oh, it's just so pretty. Just black and beautiful gold. The compass is embroidered. So beautiful. And the back only simply says Pirates of the Caribbean. Look how pretty that is. Just gorgeous. Love it, gold hardware, I love it. Now another bag that was sent over by Pink All Mode is this beautiful Rapunzel bag. And it is part of their Princess series, uh, Princess Scene series. And it's just like my Belle one, Belle and the Beast right here, um, but it's Rapunzel. I just love this one. Again, there's her scene. Look at the beautiful zipper pull. And then all of this is embroidered. It does have the beautiful ombre from light to darker here. And then in the back, you see this and it says, um, best day ever. And all of the flowers are embroidered on the bottom. So beautiful. Now the next bag I wanna show you is one that I got on my last Disney World trip um, back in December. And it is the beautiful piglet pink uh backpack and this is all vegan leather this is just the softest fur y'all it's absolutely gorgeous and it's rose gold hardware this is all vegan leather so is this your ears are fuzzy i'm glad that they just didn't overdo it on this bag i just love it i had to have it such a beautiful bag so piglet pink. If y'all have been following me for any time here on my YouTube channel, you would know what a huge Marie fan I am. And this beautiful bag, isn't it gorgeous? It's drop dead gorgeous. Um, I got it in a box swap uh, with my friend, Elisa De La Cruz, and she was fabulous to get me this bag. It is just gorgeous. And, oh, I just love it. There's a white one also similar to this that I want to pick up, but I just love it. I love the white logo tag. It's just got Marie all over. This is one AOP print that I absolutely love um, because there's not a bad placement on this. She's everywhere. <laughs> So I absolutely love it. Keep it with that same theme. Um, here is one crossbody that is in my collection that I don't show very often, but it is the beautiful pink uh, Marie Floral. Is that not gorgeous? Just stunning. I love it so much. A uh, beautiful white logo tag. It's just, an, again, an AOP print. I don't have very many, but the ones that I have now are just perfect. It's got the baby pink um, leather, vegan leather. All of this is vegan leather. 
I just love it. it has feet on the bottom so beautiful okay guys I have one more Marie bag to show you uh, from Loungefly and it is the cosplay bag just adorable oh and it matches the bag I just showed you so all of this print on her paws her ears all are the same print on the crossbody I just showed you I just love it it's all white with that beautiful pink trim and up here let's see yeah it's the same the interior lining is the same as the crossbody as well I thought it was love Marie okay y'all um I had to cut some light on because my sun's going down and it was getting really dark in here so y'all let me show you some of my villains um that I have um I don't have very many but I want to show you the ones I got okay um the first one I want to start out with was an exclusive or is an exclusive I feel like I think they still have this with Fairy Nako and they sent this over for me to share with all of you and I love it in my collection. It is an AOP print um, and uh, it has um, these holes all in the pocket so that you could put your pins and y'all they sent the pins also so thank you so much to Verineco and y'all you can get yours at Verineco also and use my coupon code Pixie Dust Peach but anyway um, love this let me show you up close so um, here it is just um, just a simple background and then the the beauty are the beautiful villain pins that are all over and here's the side here's the side and here's the back so it is an AOP print and um, yeah I love it um, I actually have several favorites when it comes to villains and one of them is Hades and this particular bag I used to try to collect every villain and I don't do that anymore I actually have sold off a lot of the villain bags that I had um, just because I don't have space for them but this is one that I really wanted to keep and I just think it's beautiful um, this is from the villains scene series that was released um, with loungefly.com but y'all it is so pretty look at that I just love it. Here's the gorgeous zipper pull of Pain and Panic, but just a beautiful, beautiful bag. Love it. Oh, and look at the back. I love the straps. That's on the extension straps. The padded straps are just blue. Love it. Okay, another bag that I love is from Danielle McCall, and these were exclusives to Pink Olive Mode, and y'all, love this one of the evil queen look how gorgeous all of this is this is all screen printed and it's beautiful i just love this one of my favorite villain bags just gorgeous and it's just basic um side pockets gold hardware and the back just has danielle mccall and uh the mirror look at there that's Danielle Nicole at the bottom. Love this one. One of my favorites, Corella DeVille. And I love this one especially um, with all of the spots on them. Her crazy hair. I made cupcakes like this one time. Uh, it's all in my videos. You should go way back and you'll find it. <laughs> Me and my nephew. But love it. So, big fan of Corella DeVille. Y'all, the next one is one of my friend's favorite villains, Pam over at Coco for Disney. This one is for you. <laughs> this is Maleficent. And you see Aurora here. This was the Loungefly, um, uh, what do you call it? The Villain Scene Series. And y'all, look at those nails. But so pretty, it glistens. I don't know if you can tell that, but look at the straps. Oh, they're thorny. Love, love, love this bag. 
Another favorite of mine is um, from Pink Isle Mode, and it was an exclusive to them. This is a lounge fly, um, and it is beautiful, y'all. This is the Evil Queen. Look at that face. I mean, she's gorgeous. And y'all, one thing I absolutely love is the zipper pull. Look at that, the poison apple. And then this is a hard metal as well. Oh, I love it. But love the evil queen. Okay, another, I think this is the last villains bag, unless it's mixed in like with the holiday stuff. Um, this is the villains books. And this was from the Stitch Shop at loungefly.com. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, you got Maleficent on the end. You've got the Evil Queen on this end. And these sides pop open. I'm not gonna go, well, I will. It has like a library book. Love these. And then this side opens as well. And um, it, there's nothing there, but that's where your zipper is to open the bag but absolutely love this. And there's your hardware, and it looks like books up here. Just beautiful, and the back looks like books. I love it. But you've got um, Maleficent, Ursula, Cruella, Hades, and Evil Queen. I just love these. So beautiful. Um, one other I wanna show you, let me move out of the way, is my I'm not gonna take it I got something draped over it. But I do have the Princess book. This is volume two. Um, I did not get volume one. I wish I had gotten volume one. But you've got Aladdin, Tangled, Princess and the Frog, Mulan, and Pocahontas. But it's right back here um, in my display. So love those.